J.F. Brennan Company has worked on the Schwamigan Bay Environmental Remediation Project in National Wisconsin since 2015, focused on removing impacted sediments left from a historical manufactured gas plant, lumber mill, and wastewater treatment plant. This challenging legacy project required teamwork and innovation. To develop and implement an effective remedial solution, Xcel Energy led cleanup efforts by contracting both Infrastructures and Environment and Envirocon, Incorporated. Brennan was brought in as a subcontractor to provide all water-based remediation services, installing isolation barriers, dredging, and capping. We began work with project stakeholders to install a rock breakwater to protect the harbor from the rough waters of Lake Superior. We dredged 12,600 cubic yards of contaminated sediment and debris from the footprint of the breakwater before the rock was installed. In 2016, Brennan installed a multi-layer turbidity curtain system to contain suspended sediment and clay particles in the bay. Designed to withstand the harsh weather conditions of Lake Superior, this robust turbidity system consisted of four layers of curtains secured with 119 manta ray anchors. After installation of the turbidity system, we carried out a pilot program to test recommended dredging methodologies. Here, Brennan dredged 15,000 cubic yards of contaminated sediment using an excavator equipped with an environmental digging bucket. We next used a hydraulic dredge outfitted with our proprietary VitVac system to remove residuals left behind by the mechanical dredging process. After clearing the area of residuals, we created a restorative cap by spreading 3,200 tons of sand using our proprietary broadcast capping system. Following successful completion of the pilot program, Brennan started full-scale dredging in 2017. Again, we used a combination of mechanical and hydraulic dredging to complete designated areas throughout the harbor. By the fall of 2018, we had dredged approximately 125,000 cubic yards of contaminated sediments and spread 17 acres with an 8-inch thick restorative layer of sand. The project team overcame challenges such as severe weather, implementation of new dredging technologies, fine sediment dewatering, and more.